Uh, Pendai, good morning to you. Okay, let's first speak about the court ruling. Nelson Chamisa's MDC wanted to repossess Morgan Changarai's house, but their application was dismissed. What does that ruling mean for Chamisa's rival, Togozani Kupe? Yes, uh, Clement, as you mentioned, that there is a battle for the MDC. But as you know, that uh, there were two MDCs which contested, who contested the past elections of 2018. So what it means now is that uh, uh, Tokuzan Kupe will stay at the Harvest House. But uh, the MDC led by uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa, the MDC Alliance, they said they are going to fight this political. They are not happy with the decision of the court. That, that they said the Tokozan Kupe led MDC should uh, uh, be at the Harvest House, the headquarters. Mm. So, does that ruling then mean that Kupe now has legal control of the MDC because the court conferred the party's leadership to him and directed that the MDC must then revert uh, to its 2014 structures? Yes, very true. Uh, the Tokozan Kupe led MDC, they are claiming that. They are having the full control of the MDC. But the MDC alliance led by Nelson Chamisa, they are insisting that they have their own structures. They are no longer part of the original MDC, which was being led by Morgan Changirai. So what is happening now is that the Tokozani Coupe uh, MDCT is also claiming they have full control and they are firing most MPs who belong to Nelson Chamisa. As you know, Nelson Chamisa had over 100 MPs in parliament and the uh, Tokozani Kupe had two MPs. But when the court ruled that uh, they should go back to the original uh, structures uh, of the MDC, which was being led by Morgan Changirai, the late Morgan Changirai, Tokozani Kupe has control and she is firing most MPs who claim that they, who insisted that they belong to Nelson Chamisa. So there's confusion, but the Nelson Chamisa led MDC still claims they have mm. the control of the opposition in Zimbabwe, as they have the huge number of MPs. So will there be a Congress then to elect a new leader? And, and will that Congress see the two factions coming together? Yes, uh, according to the MDCT led by uh, uh, Tokozani Kupe, they are saying they are going to have a Congress in December. But uh, Nelson Chamisa, when we spoke to him, he says he's not going to be part of that Congress. He already has his opposition party, the MDC Alliance. He's no longer part of the MDCT, and they are not going to be part of that Congress. So. Yeah, there's still some fights going on, but uh, Nelson Chamisa uh, insisted that he has got his own party and is not going to be part of that. I saw reports this morning that Nelson Chamisa is also blaming President Emerson Mnangagwa for the chaos in the opposition. What is he basing this on? Yes, uh, very true. Uh, you know, uh, about two weeks ago, when there was the grabbing, uh, the takeover of the Harvest House, when it was being, when it was being handed to uh, Tokozani Kupe faction, um, there are claims by the MDC Alliance that uh, the soldiers were part of this handover uh, ceremony, where they forced out uh, his uh, officials from the headquarters. So they are claiming that. Tokozani Kupe is being used by um, uh, Emerson Mnangagwa so that they bar uh, Nelson Chamisa uh, from from next elections or from uh, from contesting uh, Mnangagwa. You, you see, because uh, the MDC Alliance still insists that the president Mnangagwa is not the president. He lost it to Nelson Chamisa, so they are saying that he's she's being used by uh, Mnangagwa to destroy the movement uh, of uh, for MDC Alliance led by Nelson Chamisa. All right, Pendai Dube, thank you so much for your time this morning uh, explaining there what's unraveling in the MDC in Zimbabwe.